Hello everyone and welcome. Today we'll be looking at setting up collaborations in Canvas using other Google Workspace apps other than Docs, which is the default. Uh, there is a little weirdness to that. So looking at this today, we'll have our collaborations over here in the left side navigation. So we can click on collaborations and uh, I want to start a new one today. You'll notice that it defaults to Google Docs right here but I want to try one with something else. So using Google Apps, give that a moment to load up, and you'll note that this window looks vastly different than the Google Docs version. And it still wants to use a document here, but I want to do a presentation. You'll also note that you could do a Google Sheet, but for today we'll do a presentation. And then I want to add some collaborators and uh, for today, I'll collaborate with Sabrina on this one. It's kind of a primary grade activity, and she's a primary grade teacher. Uh, you'll notice my submit button is gray right here, and there's a reason for that. This uh, is kind of an unusual user interface here. Name, there's no indication that name should do anything. But as soon as I click on it, it gives me this invisible text box. So I am going to type in a name. so that I can make the file. And as with Google Docs, you're going to be creating a brand new file here. So this will be called Building a Snowman Collaboration, and now I can submit. And it will uh, start off with a presentation, and you'll note that it begins with a authorization window. And uh, if you authorize through that, it has you pick your Google account and so on, and it will make your students do that as well. Each time you start this up, though, you start with a blank. Well, I have some content pre-created that I would like to use for today. I could start with a brand new Google uh, Slides presentation by choosing my theme, background, adding some content, making some slides. Uh, but I have this one. This is from Control-Alt-Achieve, and I would like to just add all of this. So I'll come over here and select all of these slides in which I can build a little snowman. Students can use the content here to build their own. So I'm going to copy that, jump back to my snowman collaboration, and then paste. And I'll need to delete the initial slide because it's blank. Uh, I could type in some further information here for students to have uh, directions, but there's already a direction slide, so I don't really need to do that. Okay, so I've got my content ready. If I come back to my collaborations, you can see the one I just made, Building a Snowman Collaboration is right here. And Sabrina will see that in her list of collaborations as well. She gets a notification that we'll be collaborating on it. Uh, you could also set up different collaborations with Sheets uh, or even Google Docs from here if you choose. Anyway, pretty simple. Remember, this doesn't show up in your modules, and it also doesn't appear in your gradebook. And so you'll need to add an assignment for this uh, so that students can receive credit for their work. Meanwhile, have a great time using different forms of Google applications as you build collaborations with your students. Have a great day.